I'm a mess. There's no airflow here at all. The fire alarm was going off for almost the morning. That's fine. Okay, it's the end of day one. I was here for an hour and a half. That's still a mess, but my walkie's plugged in. Bookshelf. This bookshelf's basically done. That messy shelf down there, that's all books for me. They're for students too, but I like to hold them back and present them at a certain time of year and then leave them out for everyone else. Um, yeah, so they're all organized. Desk is still a disaster. Desk still together. Have to hear about if they can sit with buddies or just on their own. And this bookshelf, all done. Um, yeah, might need just a little cleaning up, but finished. All my technology is plugged in. My filing cabinets are put away. Yeah, it's uh, it already looks better. I already feel better about it. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so I'm so sweaty. Um, it was a good first day. Lots going on. I talked to three of my coworkers, which is really nice. Um, I'm a mess. There's no airflow here at all. The fire alarm was going off for most of the morning. That's fine. So yeah, I was here for. I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe a little longer. Um, and yeah, that's a good start. So I'll probably come back tomorrow, and if not, definitely Monday. So next weekend is Labor Day. Today is Friday, August 27th. I went into school yesterday. It was great. I was only there for an hour and a half. I just feel better about it. Um, I've had my laptop on my lap for the last 20 minutes. And then Ollie was like, um, no thanks. I'm tired of exploring the yard. Now it's my turn. So not sure how I'll be able to work in this Muskoka chair with the laptop there and the dog here. I don't know if that will work out. Um, yeah, but that's okay. This is more important anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I might go to school today. I might not go to school today. I don't have to. Um, I don't think I'm really ready to print stuff. That would be the major draw to go to school, would be to print stuff. Because, um, of course, I don't have a printer here. Even if I did, I'm not printing stuff for school. Um, but I don't think I'm quite ready to print. My at-school tasks really... I left it nice and organized in June. I kind of realized when I went yesterday, like, yes, actually, like, the cupboards are neat and everything. My desk is a disaster. The desk still needs to be cleaned up. Um, just because they move it out of the room, and then they just move it back in, so everything inside gets all jumbled together. So probably only, like, a 20 or 30-minute job to do that. Um, all my stuff has to be labeled. Oh, my gosh, you have no idea how much labeling teachers do. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Um, all their desks need to be labeled, uh, all their hooks. Um, I label all my kids' notebooks because they're in grade three, um, and they can label their own stuff, <laughs> but sometimes they don't label it well enough to, like, be quickly readable. So, oh, there's a poor doggy. Yeah. Um, so I have to label all their notebooks, and that ends up being, like, five to seven notebooks, kind of depending on how it organizes this year. Um, I need to make a list of stuff I need to buy from Dollarama. Oh, okay, go investigate. <laughs> um, not recording. Um, it seems like the dogs have stopped barking. Ollie is done investigating, now he's back. So yeah, it's just all this labeling and stuff. That's fine. Um, I don't want to print anything. I don't want to like do anything yet that like I might need to go back and redo if my class list is different than what it was when we left in June, which I mean, it very well could be. Kids move, new like new kids come in the neighborhood, kids move out of the neighborhood, you know, changes happen. Um, so yeah, I think I want to have my first couple of days of school like planned out um, just the activities that we're going to do and that kind of stuff, just so that I have it in my brain. It doesn't have to be like perfect. It doesn't have to be like everything, but you know, just 
what's the first day of school look like? Like, I don't know. So I, I do know, I just have to look at what I did, you know, the last couple of years and the new ideas that I've gathered in the summer and just kind of decide. Um, so yeah, that's today. I really want to do a swim workout. Um, I've really been enjoying them. I do a kilometer. I've gotten the time down to, I think just under 30 minutes, um, which I don't know, like if you're like a good swimmer, like that like, isn't that hard. Like I'm not like gasping for breath at the end, um, but I do like work hard at it. Um, yeah, and I think I just want to do that because I mean, you know, these days are precious. They're slowly coming to an end, I guess. So I'd rather swim, you know, in the middle of the day when it's the hottest while I can, because two weeks from now, I will not be able to do that. It will have to be, you know, after four o'clock. There's lots of birds in the bird feeder. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to do that. And I do next week. I'm thinking I have an appointment Monday at 11. So if I get my act together, which I think I will, I could go in you know, from eight to really 1045, my appointment's like really close. And then like that could be it for Monday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, if I need to, I could go in for most of the day. But again, I don't have to, right? I could just kind of play, I think I'll just play it by ear. I'm just gonna play it by ear. I'm not gonna say I'm going in every day. I'm not gonna say how many hours I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do however many, oh my God, there's a hummingbird. I won't, I won't be able to catch it like on camera. Um, it's just the vibe is really cute. We have a hummingbird feeder in our yard and only once have I seen a hummingbird at it. Um, and they say you have to change the fluid in it, like the sugar solution every couple of days because it will ferment and that's unhealthy for them. I haven't done my research. I just saw this on um, like a bird watching group that I've heard of on Facebook. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, so I haven't been filling it because I know that I'm not going to remember to change it like every three days. So I just don't want them to get sick, but we do have the feeder up. And yeah, I just saw my second hummingbird of the year in my backyard, which is cool. So yeah, um, I'm doing a little bit of school stuff. It's going well. I just have to think, um, you know, okay, well, what activities are we going to do the first day that are COVID safe? Um, if we're going by last year's rules, totally that's fine. I have some that are good. If we're going by like, oh there, it just went, flew by again. Oh my God. Okay. This hummingbird is on the canna lily. And it went to the feeder. Oh my God. It's at the feeder. It's... Okay. It went to the canna lily, the big red one. And then it went to the feeder. It didn't, they don't land. So I mean, how do people ever get a picture of them? I have no idea. Um, plus it's only 9.30 in the morning and I'm, you know, a little slow. <laughs> um, but that was cool. So I should, I should put stuff in the feeder because we bought the feeder. Um, it's just a dollar on the feeder, so that's not special. But I did go to all the trouble of having just to put it up. So I should fill it. Um, I totally forget what I was talking about. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's cool. Oh yeah, so I think we're going kind of with last year's rules and group work, like partner work at my at my school, at my board, I don't know about other people, was allowed, um, but obviously they have to wear the mask all the time and um, like keep distance. So like I would let them play games, but they'd have to be on either side of the desk of their partner. And last year we were quarantining like pens and papers and books for like 48 hours in between use. So I wouldn't let them share really any materials. Like um, they'd each have their own pencil. They'd each have their own copy of the paper. They would each have their own dice. Like it's a dice game or if it's a card game. They each had their own deck of cards. So we just have to modify the games a little bit. Um, and so this year I'm not going to do any of that. I'm not doing any of the like oh, we're playing a card game, but you each have your own deck. So like, here are the change of rules. No, like we're just playing a normal card game because I think it's kind of been debunked that that's how COVID spreads. So they're just going to wash or sanitize their hands before they and their partner play the game. So 
they're sharing a deck of cards, but their hands have just been like, again, freshly sanitized, not just even from the when they came in the room, but like before I give it out, like they're going to sanitize or wash. Um, so that just cuts down on germs. And then, but I'm not sure, like, can we do group games? I think we can, because in gym, they're allowed to do like team sports, but just not contact. Well, if you're playing a math game, it's not in contact, <laughs> right? Or it should be, if it's not, there's a bigger problem. Um, and say like, if you're playing like a name game um, and you have to like talk to people, like you can do that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Tell someone tells me otherwise, which no one will. I don't. Um, okay, so yeah, that's my day today. It is just 9.30 now, so I'm doing well. I sort of got up early this morning and read my book. That was nice. I ended up falling asleep again, which wasn't part of the plan. I'm trying to get back on like good sleep hygiene and like good sleep routine. Um, so that waking up for work isn't as painful. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'll give another update next time something big happens in the prep for September 2021. We'll see. I have one little piece of fog, but just one. So, I'm trying to find it. I'm blowing out with as hard as I can. There's a little fog, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. All right, it is the first morning of school. So, my room is ready. The walls are pretty bare, but everything's ready to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to meet my kids right now. I know this day is just going to be crazy and overwhelming, and the room will look a lot messier at 4 o'clock. <laughs> this is my desk. Um, I don't know. Some people would say it's already messy, but it'll get better slash worse. End of the first day. Oh my gosh, I am ready for bed and it is 4.22. Hey everyone, so I'm clearly not at school. I am back um, in my house and I just wanted to kind of end off this video with like a little note. So I really had um, a hard time filming getting ready for the school year because I think in my brain, school, I'm really good at like categorizing things. So to me, like school is totally separate from my home life and my personal life. And all of that is pretty separate from YouTube. So I've never gone into the school year thinking, oh, I'm gonna document this. Um, whereas other things that I've done on YouTube, I've thought, okay, yeah, like I'm gonna, this would be great, I'm gonna document this. So it just didn't occur to me and I really struggled to remember to take videos and have the time to do it and then explain what was in the video that I was shooting. And so yeah, I just had a little bit of trouble doing that. So I'm really proud of the before school started video that I did get. I thought I did an okay job at remembering. Um, I also really enjoyed kind of filming right before the day, first day of school started. And then at the end of the day, kind of how I was feeling. Um, and then I have filmed basically nothing for school since then. It's kind of just hit the ground running, stuff started, and I just took off with it. And I've been filming other YouTube videos, stuff for Outlander, um, other series that I'm doing, uh, other YouTube series, I mean, not book series. Um, so that's been all really good, but I've been working away at school and not really thinking about documenting any of it or talking about it. So I just wanted to come on here quickly and kind of wrap up the video that you just saw with kind of an update. Um, we have been in school now. We just ended our third week. It's the Sunday night before our week four. Um, it is going really, really great. I was pretty afraid before we started. You know, I thought, I don't know what I was so afraid of. I guess I just thought that the COVID restrictions would be really extreme they're not, it really seems very manageable to be honest. 
Um, I thought that the kids might not be ready. You know, they have, last year they were in school the least amount out of any classroom setting in North America. Students in Ontario missed out on the most in-school time. They were the vir virtual the most. And so I just kind of thought like, okay, it's gonna be really hard. You know, they're not gonna be used to it at all. It's gonna be really, really difficult. And that wasn't the case. I don't know if I just have an amazing class. Um, I mean, I do have an amazing class. I know that I have an amazing class, but I don't know if these kids are just, you know, better than others or if the fear in my head was probably a little overblown, but they have just adjusted beautifully. Um, things are going really, really well. Not only are we, you know, paying attention to our mental health as a class, but we're actually learning and we're actually doing curriculum already. Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel really proud of that. I feel really happy with that. Um, I don't know that I'll keep filming stuff for YouTube at school. There's not really much to do. Like, um, I don't want this to be like a teacher channel where I'm like, oh, here's how I do this. Here's how I do that. I don't have enough tips and tricks up my sleeve to uh, share. I'm still in the gathering from others stage of my career. Um, you know how I get things done. So yeah, I don't really know where this will go. I just wanted to kind of give an update. We are three weeks in. Things are going really well. It feels like we've always been at school. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Okay. Series called like teacher stories or like stories from school. Um, I think that I will still do that, but not in this video. It just doesn't seem like it's a good fit. So I might film a little bit of those, keep an eye out. Um, I'll try to remember all the hilarious, insightful, um, and just absolutely charming things that my students say. Um, that I can collect them for you and share them because they are really great. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I know it was a little bit all over the place. I really appreciate your patience as I uh, figure out how best to film and um, get things you know, recorded so that I can work with them. Um, and thank you so much for everyone's support at the start of the school year. Uh, I really, really have counted on many of my friends and family. Um, I told them that you know how nervous I've been and I'm really, really grateful for everyone's help because I needed it. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.